Alright, what's up y'all? So I'm here with uh, my homegirl here, Lisa Ramos. What's Hi, everybody. Good? She got a new book out. It's called Pizza. Hold on, it's a little blown out. Pizza and Chill. Alright, you should check it out. What's your book about? My book is about modern dating and just, it's Q&A format, so just my perspective on how things should go. And mm -hmm. it's got like playlists, it's got different lists, like do's and don'ts for dates, so. For sure. It's a fun book. A lot of boys sliding in your DMs, trying to holler and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens. Okay. And girls too, I mean just. Nah, I bet. Mm -hmm. I tweeted out and on Facebook, I'm like, yo, dudes, like, if y'all got any questions about what you might be doing wrong, um, I got a I got a real girl here to answer your questions. So um, we're gonna answer the questions. Okay, let's do it. Okay, this comes from at Cholo Rob on Twitter. Oh. All right, so he was like, "Hey, Lisa, what's up? Bro? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> what is the best way to ask for a girl's number, like without coming out as like creepy or too demanding? You like my Cholo voice? Yeah, I love it. It's very accurate." <laughs> I think the best way to ask for a girl's number is you have to have a, a little conversation first. You can't just come out and be like, what's your number? Mm -hmm. Like you have to have like some small talk about the weather, about where you are, about right. the drinks in the restaurant, the bar you're in or anything really. Okay. And then you should only ask for the number when you're about to leave or when she's about to leave because if not, then it's awkward. You're oh, so then it's like on some like, oh, okay, well, let me, before you leave, like, let me get your number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. But then if she says no, it's not awkward because you just leave or she leaves. But if you say, if you ask too soon, then you're around each other the whole night. Mm, that's a good tip. You know what I mean? And then it's like awkward, like, oh, she said no. I would always try and come up with some opening, like, joke or something like that. Yeah. Like, let's say, like, um, I wanted to talk about your shoes, right? Uh -huh. I would come up and I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like yo, um, those are, like, really dope shoes. Where'd you get those? And then while you were answering, I'd be like, nah, I'm just playing. I just wanted to find an excuse to talk to you. Oh, that's cute. Right? Like, I just was with my friend Charlamagne, and he said the best game is, like, acting like you have no game. Yeah, because it's on some like, oh, you know what? Like, I'm so corny, huh? Yeah, I'm so yeah. corny, but you know, honestly, I just need an excuse to come say hi, you're so right. pretty, blah, blah, blah. That you know? actually works the best. Like, cliche pickup lines never really work. You pickup know? lines, I feel like they don't work unless you you have that swag of like, um, I'm just being stupid. You right, know what I'm right, saying? right. If you take it too seriously, it's never gonna work. Like, the, the po how much is a polar bear weigh enough to break the ice? That will never, ever work. Well, nowadays, you know, a lot of girls will be on some like, look. Don't even, don't even talk to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not trying to have you come up to me like that. But then, <laughs> but then I'll, at the same time, it's like, what if you see this girl that's like the girl of your dreams? Right. You know what I'm saying? And like, you don't want to miss this opportunity. Like, that could be like my future wife and shit. Right, you know? right, right. So if people see a pretty ass girl walking on the street, like, am I supposed to leave her alone or do I talk to her? Like, what if I miss this chance? You know? I mean, I think you can go for it, but just pay attention to the signs. Like, if she feels uncomfortable or like backs away or gives you an attitude, just stop. Like, don't. Continue right. to be persistent because it's scary for women mm -hmm. to be approached by men who are super persistent. But mm -hmm. if she's giving you like, if she's reciprocating, then it's okay. You can keep going. But it's worth a shot. What's the worst that you can say? No, and then you just go about your way. No big I, deal. I always tell a man, it's like feel, getting rejected feels stupid for like two seconds, and then you're over it. You never and see then her you're again. over it. But then that feeling of like, damn, I should have talked to that girl. That should last the, forever. Yes, you're like, man, I'm never gonna see her again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I say go for it, but um, don't don't make it awkward. Don't make it weird. If she doesn't want to talk to you, then just be like, okay, have a nice day. And don't be like, oh, well, you're ugly anyway, or something. <laughs> right, is that how they do? That's how they do it. You ain't even cute, you ain't got no ass. Yeah, yeah. exactly, yes. Damn. That's happened to me a few times. <laughs> and she could be having a bad day, it's not personal. How about the dudes that like, um, talk to you when they like, and you say you got a man or whatever, right? And right. they're like, oh, well, you we have friends. friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that's foolish, no. Josh underscore Jewel Saint asks, how long before you can make physical t contact with the other person? Wow. Um, it depends on the vibe. I feel like I've been on first dates where I've kissed someone on the first date mm -hmm. and then I've been on like multiple dates with the same person but never kissed them, never held their hand. Mm. Yeah, so it depends on the chemistry and you'll know. If a girl is into you, like, she won't be backing away. Right, right. Like, she'll be like facing you. You have to learn how to be, read body language a little bit. I feel like especially, like, I mean, with the funny dude, funny dudes, we got the advantage, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Because you get to gauge reactions because mm -hmm. like if a girl laughs at you on something like, ah, she's, like yeah, she's, she's like touching, touching your knee right. she's like that touching your chest then yes. it's like okay i think she's she's feeling me right you know? exactly and then also if you're making jokes and just be like oh i'm just playing like you could just try to do something yes oh i was just joking like, bro I wasn't serious. I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad you brought that up because <gasps> that's the best in, in my in my days when i was doing my thing mm -hmm. that was always my main strategy you know what i'm saying just as a play funny it off. dude like, yeah you're just you could be on some like yeah, you know, you 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 so you should move in with me. Nah, I'm just playing. Nah, I'm just playing stupid. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, you know, what? you you just you should just sleep over tonight. Nah, girl, I'm just playing you're stupid. You're stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then it's always right. like I'm just playing unless you unless do you it. Unless you say yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Unless you're down. That shit works. Yeah, that's a good one. 
Because if she responds well to the, hey, you should just stay, you should just cuddle tonight shit. You know she's like, saying? okay, cool. Then you just do it. But then she's like, yeah, okay. Then you're like, I'm just. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just being stupid. Yeah, 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 exactly. That works really well. Such a good strategy. That's like the best tip ever, actually. Because <laughs> then it's like, no one feels uncomfortable. Exactly. You know? Like, you don't feel weird. And then she feels like, oh, he's just being funny. Exactly. Yeah, funny so. dudes, we got the advantage, man. Yeah. Go it's not what you say, it's how you say it, I mm. feel like, you know? Exemplify as how do you start a conversation and how can you tell where it's going? Hmm. <laughs> I feel like it has to be relevant to the environment and to what you guys are doing. So if you meet a girl at the concert, you can ask, if you meet a girl at like a festival, you can ask her what she thinks about like the festival itself or like who's performing or where she's, what stage she's going to be at next. Mm -hmm. It has to be relevant to like where you are. Okay, what if you're on a date and shit gets okay. quiet? If shit gets quiet on a date, I mean, I feel like it's impossible because there's always something you can bring up. You can always change a topic like, oh, how's your food? or Especially you a first date. First date. First date, yeah. Because yeah. there's so much you can bring up. Just anything. How do you like the food? How's your drink? Uh, what do you want to do after this? Are you? Do you think you're going to want dessert? Like you can just... <laughs> You know what I used to do on the first date to um to get to get a first kiss, like force a little first kiss? Well, and this shit, like I said this in an old video, but like I always used to do this shit. And I, and I would only do this when like I felt like the chemistry was popping. Right, right. And, like, chemistry has to be there for yeah, like, shit was going there well. to be like a first kiss. Right, and plus I was, you know, and you know me, I'm on my like, I'm on my like funny shit, right? Right, right, right. I'd always be like, yo, let's play spin the bottle. And then, she, and, then she, and then she would laugh. And then I, she'd be like, what are you talking about? We don't have a bottle. And I'd grab, I'd grab like a ketchup bottle mm -hmm. and I'd spin it. And I'd keep on spinning it until the point I it and I'd be like, we got a kiss now. And right, then, like, and then you do like a little tap kiss. And then you just do a little, just a little peck. And, but right. then it was like, you know, like low key, like you're it a little breaks more, the ice. It breaks the ice, and you already kissed. Yeah, and you don't feel uncomfortable because it's like, oh, it's been the bottle. It's not like. Yeah, it's not like no interest. Trying to shit. come in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's, that's actually a good idea, but that's never happened to me. <laughs> Here's another one I got for y'all. If you go to the movies, even mm -hmm. though I feel like I feel like a movie is not necessarily a good first date because you don't you're not talking to each other, you're just right. kind of looking at the screen. But um, if you go to the movies, and um, let's say the popcorn was right here, right? Mm -hmm. I would always be in my peripherals, like looking for when she was gonna reach for the popcorn. Like <laughs> so, say, go say for the yeah, same yeah, time. yeah, yeah, go for the like, same time. Like, and I'd be like, oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, oh wow, we just had our hands. <laughs> what I don't like is when someone's like invading my personal space before we are even on the date. Like one time. A guy picked me up and um, <laughs> we were looking for parking. We were gonna go get sushi, mm -hmm. and all of a sudden, I'm like looking out the window so that he could. I'm like, oh, there's a parking spot right, parking spot right there. And then as soon as I turn around, he's like right here. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, how did you get over here? Yeah. Like, what the hell? He was I was like, to get you or what? no, he was just like looking out the window, but oh. like he was right next to my face. Mm. So I was like, oh, I don't like this. personal space. That's important, man. Mm -hmm. Remember that. Respect it. How do you so. feel about like touching your face? Uh, it depends. Like, I wear makeup. I wear, like, a lot of makeup. Right. So I'm like, don't, don't, don't touch my face. Yeah, because I, I don't want way that, um, like, he, like, he touched the girl's face one time and, and, and he, makeup came off? And no, he just didn't know her and I was like, don't you don't no, don't, you can't. Face. Okay, and yeah. I wouldn't even touch a man's face either. Cause yeah. Because people just don't like that. Yeah. Even, like, if you're Christian someone, like, you shouldn't have, like, mm -hmm. my aunt said that she went on a date with someone and <laughs> he didn't even want to kiss her. He just wanted to go like this to her face. Why? <laughs> I don't know, but she was just like looking out through like the cracks. Well, that's weird. <laughs> Isn't it weird? <laughs> that's yeah, so story. weird. It's very, yeah, it's very strange. Uh. <laughs> oh lord, what is this one? He said, Henry Ong, how do you approach a girl if you're ugly? <laughs> First of all, it doesn't matter if you think you're ugly because she might think you're cute. Mm -hmm. And a lot of girls don't even. Like eventually, if let's say you're not someone's exact type, if you can make a girl laugh, or if you can make her feel comfortable, or if you're like really smart or something, like we look past all that stuff, and that's the honest truth. Like there's a lot of cute guys that can only hold my attention for like three minutes, and then I'm like, oh, you know right. what I mean? So it's more about personality, believe it or not. And I know it sounds like a lie, but no, it's, it's true. really so true. Look, yeah. man, like I, I always tell dudes, like, look, never go to a girl thinking that she's better than you. First of all, no, like, because everyone, people are just people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. if you if you look at a girl like Yo, she's out of my league. You already kind of you're admitting that you lost. You know what I'm saying? Right. And then also you're gonna be weird with her too. You're gonna right. treat her differently. You're gonna be like, oh my god, you're so beautiful. you're gonna put her on a pedestal, and that's a turn off too. Well, it's not the fact that it's she's on a pedestal in my opinion. It's just the fact that you're treating her like you're a fan, and it makes people mm. kind of uncomfortable mm -hmm. when we just want to be treated like people. Like exactly. we just want to talk about normal stuff. Mm -hmm. We don't want we don't want you to act like oh my god, like just. Relax, it's okay. Yes. And you never know what people's taste is. So. Exactly. My whole life, I've dealt with the whole, um, yo, how did he get her? You know what I'm saying? I always get that, ever since I was young. But it's like, first of all, uh, I'm cute. <laughs> um, 
don't neglect that fact because I'm sexy as shit. <laughs> um, you gotta be confident and mm -hmm. you can't be doubting yourself because everybody has different tastes. You know, Topanga's with Corey. That's so true. And even with women, if you meet a woman who has no substance or confidence, is not well spoken, is like seems kind of dumb. The beauty kind of just fades after mm -hmm. like That's so true. the first two dates. Yeah. It so really it's does. Really about like how you carry yourself and what you say and how you the kind of person that you are. Word. Right. Do you agree? I completely agree. Oh, okay. I feel like being attractive is like a good movie trailer. Like it'll right. get you in the theater, but then like, like not oh, all the movies God. are gonna be good yeah. when you sit there and actually watch this exactly. shit. Exactly, yes. Know? Yes, yes, yes. You feel me? I mean it helps, but it's not everything. Yeah. Very smart. Very smart <laughs> advice for the kids. <laughs> this question from John Eric Holloway asks, what is the most unusual thing a guy has done to get your attention that worked? Okay, it's not really weird, but one time um, I was out with my best friend and someone sent me um, brownies to the table after a meal. Oh, okay. And I gave him my number. Oh. I love chocolate. That was nice. You know what happens to me a lot, actually? Mm. When I'm walking in the street, someone will tell me I dropped something. <laughs> like, hey, you dropped your ID. And then I look and then I'm like, okay, really? <laughs> Did that work? No, it just pisses me off because then I get like, oh my God, I dropped something. And I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's it's Q and A format, and then there's like do's and don'ts, and then there's playlists for okay, every chapter. Okay, this is oh, yeah, it's nice. Right, it's so easy to read. I like this. Big font. Pictures. Oh, she got pictures too. There's so many pictures in there. Oh, nudes too, guys. Pick it up. Yeah, he tried it. <laughs> in my opinion, three months into exclusively dating is a good time to introduce someone to your friends and family. Yeah, it's good advice. Okay, how long do you date before you uh, smash? On everybody is different. Yes. Everybody is different. Totally. Some people like to wait a long time, some people like to do it right away. I like to wait a bit. Okay, you, you ever uh, smash on the first date? No. Never ever? Nope. Never ever? Nope, never ever. Well, damn. I have. <laughs> I mean, everybody's different, it's whatever their preference is. You know what I do? I say, hey, let's play, let's play uh, spin the bottle smash version. No, I'm no just you're kidding. <laughs> I'm not I was gonna this say part. that worked on somebody. No, that does not work. Alright, y'all, well, shit. This is Lisa. Pick up her book if you want, yes. you know. Real advice from a, a real ass girl. It's available Barnes and Noble, Amazon, independent bookstores. Pizza and chill. And yeah, BarnesandNoble.com too. All right, we'll see. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Follow her on everything. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> Done. That was fun. The royal penis is clean, your highness. Thank you, king shit.